But I wanted to come on and share my win. This week, I've been working really hard in the back office and everybody's been struggling about funding, funding, funding. So what you put in the back office to help us get that is um, the company that you put. So I'm able to do the um, financing for the students. Congratulations. And, um, <laughs> thank you. So everybody excited about that. I was a little more organized, but I'm just excited. I thank you so much for everything that you helped me accomplish this far. What would you tell some of the people on here that are scratching their head, just looking and wondering? <laughs> I would tell them that go ahead and stop being fearful, stop being afraid. And if you've been looking for over six months, go ahead and open the school. Everything is in there. I really feel more comfortable and confident in my career and my walk, what I'm doing and my goals, um, setting goals and then having these um, meetings every week that helps and i do have people calling me that's interested in the cranial prosthetic courses and i i already let them know like that course has been online since 2019 because um you 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 encouraged me to take that course that was the first course that i brought from you mm -hmm. invested actually invested in myself and i'm glad i did so it's been sitting there that's really what put me on the path to being able to open the school and help you know keep things going so i don't have to be behind that chair much it feels way much better on my body. I've been able to have a routine schedule with myself working out and just paying more attention to my health. My feet hurt a lot when I was um, doing hair because a lot of times, you know, we schedule, I have appointments only, but then you have people that walk in. And if you, if you like me, don't know how to say no, or like I used to be, because I tell them no quick now. I'm like, nope, no students are here. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not able to do nothing. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. I didn't know how to do that before I uh, became a school owner, and it was it was bad because we get stuck in our ways. I'll be 44 next month, God's will. But I've been doing this since I was in my 20s, so I just knew how I had. Like she said earlier, I had the poor man mindset, which you know, make all that money and then spend it quick, and you just figure out a way to spend it all in one, you know, one day. And so I'm just waiting on the opportunity to get funded by the uh, government. That will be coming up next month, at least for veterans mm -hmm. to be able to come. Veterans going to pay right out. They're going to see that. Yeah. <laughs> How much is your tuition? Oh, wow, it's 12000 right now. They're going to give you 12000 when you get veterans. Yeah. Because you know, to Kenya, Albany Beauty Academy, $22,550. Yeah, she told me. I, she showed me. I was like, oh. And um, I talked to her. She, you know, call and check on me, make sure. I slowed down calling you a little bit because it's kind of moving. It's kind of like it's going the way it's supposed to because <laughs> I got, you know, the state board already came and you just get up and teach those. I'm like, man, this stuff, the map, the Milady, I use the Milady mm -hmm. and uh, Pivot. It was another one you put in there. A beta. A beta. Yeah. So I just kind of used those, but the main book was my lady that we used at the school. Mm -hmm. And I uh, I just kind of go between the two and it, all of it have the same information, just different chapters. But it feels really good on my mind also. If you need to make a decision to go ahead, this time is now, because COVID, they're giving out all kind of funding, the money is there. You just have to take that leap of faith and have your financials in place. I used the lady that was referred in this group. My financials look good and I'm able to, you know, do. I'm working towards a goal and getting some more funding for my business. If you're still behind that chair and you're afraid to go ahead and open your school, just start following the Millionaire Barber. Take that course at least to get your online presence set up right. And then set a goal for the month and then move forward like that. Just take it in steps. If you sit down and set your goals, say you want to do it in a year or six months or three months. I don't know, but I would do, I would get from behind that chair, I'm telling you, because you do not want that to be your future. You want to be able to make money while you're sleeping and generate money and once you put people on a payment plan and they're serious about coming to school you know that payment is going to come even if you're not there because right now um you are able to do some of the courses virtually um some of the hours through my lady to have the mind tap and i utilize that so i know this was god's path for me in my business and um right now he's making that real known by the way he's 
keeping the doors open in the midst of this pandemic. Now that funnel, what, how do you feel about that? I like the funnel. The funnel is very professional. People are always, they're asking who did it, how did, where did that come from? How do you get that? They need that. So I think it's very organized. And then last week you did the class on how to add more stuff. So I have the catalog in it. I have everything links in there that was empty. The online course is on that link. So it's just, it's just organized and it looked really sleek, professional, it looked like a boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, someone said, how long has your school been open? Um, my school been open since April. Well, we opened in J January, but we have to wait on the state board. So that's when I got the city license. There's so many steps that you have to get. So I said I officially was open in January. Who was the first student that walked through the door? Um, the first student walked through the door was in January, but I had to wait you know, until the state board to start teaching them. So they was volunteering. They volunteered, they helped me get the school organized, they helped me get everything set up, and then um, they were able to continue, get, start getting the hours in um, April. And so you got your first graduate is coming. When is your first graduate, Ayana said? Um, August 31st. Okay. Yep. My first graduate from my barber school, he just opened his school. Y'all saw Wake is oh, the Yeah, so I'm gonna go. Once this COVID gets over, I'm gonna start coming to y'all schools. Like oh a little my tour. goodness, I keep, yeah, I, I keep getting so late. COVID passes <laughs> over. Um, what else you wanna share? You even look better, Sharon. <laughs> I'm telling you, I feel. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I'm not stressed out. Like, I'm not wondering, you know, what is my future gonna be? I'm not wondering. You know where my money coming from I, i'm not stressed at all has, has anybody you. else noticed the, your appearance <laughs> yeah people been telling me that they were telling me wow you look good i'm like thank you i'm trying you know i'm next shot i got time to take care of me i don't have to stand up there and do all them i used to do a lot of people a lot of clients and uh they understand you know they respect what i'm doing they actually are sending people there and then they'll, they'll let the students do their hair. Yeah. I want to share with with um, anybody that's on here, if you're still doing hair and you're behind the chair and you're contemplating, even if you don't become a school owner, go ahead and get your instructor license. If you're a master cosmetologist, you have to be that in Georgia. I don't know about any other state. In Texas, they just changed the law. You don't have, they don't have to have an instructor course anymore. So they can be a barber, stylist, nail tech and open a school and teach like they can in Florida. Oh, that's good. I did speak with one of the one of your um, gold members that opened a school in Florida recently in Jacksonville. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. She she been talking to me. So, no, my school you have to be open in order to get the funding from the VA for two years. So that's for the school. But as a uh, non-surgical hair replacement specialist, you can start getting funding as soon as you get your business set up. That does not have to be two years, but you have to be a master cosmetologist. That's the qualifications for that. And then you have to have your business set up and we'll go through that in the course. Because what kind of checks will they send you for that? Because I know you do the non-surgical, but can you tell them some of the checks that you've received from doing one service? Yeah, anywhere from 500 to 5,000 they'll send you that amount and um they don't send it in a check you have to have a uh, your entity set up correctly and you have to have um, certain things in place for you to get the funding and um they don't send a check they actually send you the government credit card information yeah but i don't want to share that on the internet any other wins anything else you want to share with us oh i probably feel more relaxed now because i don't have any school age children the only students that I'm worried about now is my students at school because my kids are grown. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I, I want to share with everyone, stay encouraged, stay around people that's like-minded, that's going where you want to go. Stay focused. That's my main thing. Stay focused. And I just want to thank you again, Millionaire Barbara. I can't thank you enough. And I'm I'm definitely looking for the next class that I can learn from you. What else? I'm like, what else? You got a lot of information in his head. Let me hurry up and figure out what else I can take because I'm going to stick under his mentorship until I reach the goal that I want to reach.